Let's see if I can do this in one take. Um, okay, so a commenter, uh, hopefully a subscriber, maybe not, um, asked for this setup. So I use the terminal often, and I often have Vim in a terminal and a browser. But uh, this um, viewer of the channel wanted to know what it would be like with a three panel setup. So here it is. Um, first things first, let's look at how I have this set up. So on the left side here, we have uh, iTerm2. This is a, often a uh, familiar and popular uh, terminal emulator. Uh, that kind of extends the built-in Mac terminal. Um, I have it set up with a custom profile, nothing too fancy. Uh, this is a font uh, that I downloaded online, which was uh, recommended by the theme that I'm using. Anyways, but the thing that makes, uh, that's most relevant for us now is uh, I'm using a size 20 font. Uh, I guess my eyes are terrible, but... Um, the, the terminal is size 20 font. The screen, as you can see from here, is in a 4K, um, 3840 by 2160. Um, that's all normal. Um, so here's uh, VS Code. Um, I don't know what the current zoom is, but it's it's not bad. This is a currency API project that I'm working on. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, let's pull up some code, maybe. I don't know. This it's not not the fanciest stuff, but this all looks really usable to me. Um, I don't know, let's throw up Stack Overflow here. This seems usable. Um, this is currently running at 120%. No, as 100%. So if we move it to 110 or 120, um, this is not bad. There is a uh, a tool from uh, it's called Magnet. Uh, let's see, App Store. I can't install it on this as it's a um, the App Store is not allowed. But for $7.99, you get this really awesome uh, windowing tool. Now, Mac OS Monterey will make this even better. So this is kind of being Sherlocked. But um, if you get this and you're using something other than Monterey or whatever you want, this it gives you a ton of options to split um, your monitor. So uh, it's Magnet. It's in the App Store. It's really awesome. Um, you can very easily with keyboard shortcuts split the screen and, and do sorts of all these things. I had to do this all manually. Um, but yeah, I mean, would I use this? Yeah, if this is something that you need. So let's throw up like man off. Here's a manual page and maybe you have... Uh, Oh, I don't have that set up right now. Um, maybe you have a SSH into some server here. I'll just make it look like this. Um, yeah, it's super useful. Um, you know, I, I, I might I might do this. Terminal, terminal, editor, which in my case would be Vim and another terminal, and then a browser, all on the same screen. I might I might actually work. Um, now OBS might be, I don't remember what I have this set to export in, um, but I'm pretty sure it's probably exporting in 1080p. Um, but um, as I said, this is in 4K and uh, works just fine. 